All right. Hey, so we're back. Third set of birds. All right. Knocking them out. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, we're doing great on the quizzes, too. Good. Good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Fantastic. So, I took it just the other day. Okay. So the first bird in this set, again, we're, we're doing uh, just kind of... It's because you touched it. I know. See? Okay. Third set of birds. All right, fantastic. Yeah, doing good. good. Knocking out those quizzes. Knocking them out. Good, Easy good. quizzes because I'm studying them over and over and over before yeah. I take the quiz. They're watching us all this time. I know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Third set. All right. First bird. Morning dove. It's I. It's a sport bird. And Does very, that mean it plays sports. It plays sports. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It has to at Trinity RPE. Okay. It has to do one of those. Has to do something. Yeah. At, yeah. Yeah. Sport Could do bird. off campus. Yeah. That's why it's called a morning dove. It mourns. So it's called the morning dove, right? Not the morning dove, right? So no. not an A, a U, right? Okay. So it's not, or no, no, what? It's not uh, night day dove like right. morning, right? It's morning as in sad. Okay, so it's it's not like it get up, it gets up in the morning, right? right? And that's when right. it likes to like start right. its day. And that's why you hear them in the morning, but that's not what no. it is. It's morning because when you listen to its call. It sounds like it's morning or got crying. It, got it. It's morning. Boo hooing, yeah. crying. Sad. Let's move on. Sad. Gray and brown in color, and it has a really cool blue ring around the eye if you can get close enough to see it. Right. If you bring your binoculars, you can. And then it has black spots on the wings. So that's how you know it's not one of the other kinds of doves you might find. Uh, the black spots are helpful. In that, yes, I think just because we have a couple more doves that have come into this area. Okay, you know things are getting a little warmer. We've gone through a drought and things, and so we've got uh, the white winged dove yes. that's yeah. moved into the area. It has a distinctive white bar kind of on the front of the on the wing. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know the other one, uh, the Eurasian dove. Eurasian dove. Yes, it has actually kind of like a white. Yeah. Or is it white or black? Yeah, white. A white uh, collar on the back, basically. Yeah. So yeah, that's so, why I think they call it the Eurasian. Collared dove. dove. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so if you're if you're if you're trying to tell the difference between the doves and a pigeon or something, this dove has the black spots on the wing. That's right. It's, yeah, smaller than a smaller than a pigeon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Much yeah. Um, all right. Now we're going to move to the owls. Yes. Those are the nocturnal birds of prey. Okay. So they they hunt at night. They hunt at night. Hunt nocturnal. At night. And then we have four of these. Yes, we do. It's very difficult to, for the bird watcher to find. Yes, usually because they're asleep. That's right. Yeah, and they so. they they camouflage very well. We're going to okay. talk about some of those things that cause them to camouflage. Excellent. So, what's the first one here? First one is the barred owl. Right. Any idea how it gets its name? Um, Do we'll see any bars. I, I think he has bars on his chest. Wow, yeah, good deal. Go. Yeah, hangs out at bars. No, no. It. Uh, he's see, he's been barred from the bars. Barred from the bars. Uh, these are called bars. These things on the birds. He is a cursor. So all of these things in bird watching kind of they, vertical they go, stripes yes, almost. Okay. If they go up or down vertical, then they're called bars. Got it. If they go horizontal, they're called something different. Disc shaped face, like a typical owl. And this one is uh, the old timers call this one an eight hooter. Okay. Because in the sound it it has eight distinctive calls. But we'll get to the bird sounds later. Okay. All right. So it helps me when we're studying owls to see all the owls. So let's look at the next owl and okay. kind of help, help get some comparison, yes. uh, points yes. of comparison. We may want to go back and forth. Yeah. Oh, this is, this bird here is about the size of a Coke can. That is, that is amazing. I'm, I'm sorry, a Pepsi can. Pepsi can. Pepsi can. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. we have Pepsi on PCA right. campus. That's right. right. So, the screech owl. That's pretty small. That's like, that's like that screech. is. They're that's tiny, small. tiny little owls. And you know what? They're, they're, they're all over the place. Okay. I've never seen one. No, you probably never will. Okay. But if you have trees in your neighborhood, you have screech owls. They just come out at dusk and at dawn. And when we learn the sounds, you'll hear that sound. Okay. The real light sound. I bet you that you've heard it before you see it. You're listening to it. Cool. So they do have ear tufts. They do. That barred owl was just a round head. Exactly. But these right. guys have little little pointy ears on yeah. them. Yeah. Now, are these ears? What? They look like ears. Yeah, I mean, don't can, owls have a good sense of sound? I mean, hearing, right? Yeah, but they're not ears. Okay, they're not. Explain, they're, explain this. That's right. Them. They're they're called tufts. Okay, and they're just feathers that they can lift up. These guys can have the round face as well. Oh. They can lay those feathers down, 
And some scientists believe that they're used to guide sound okay. into their um, ear canal. And some scientists say they're used for during the daytime when they sleep. Mm -hmm. They stand those up and it looks like a broken limb. So it's oh. even better camouflage. Helps with camouflage. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So they're not ears. They're no. just in some feathers that yeah. might help their ears. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this does have a red phase and a gray phase. Yes. But they both have a pretty nice camouflage to blend yeah. in the trees. Look at that. So Isn't that cool? Looks like tree bark here. And this guy would blend in maybe to a different kind of tree. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that's the different phases of the year. Okay, times of the year, uh, winter, summer. Got it. Right, this is our third owl. This is the great horned owl. This is the largest owl we have in Texas. Okay. okay. Uh, there are larger owls out west, but this is our largest owl, and probably one of the more heavier birds, especially birds of prey. Okay. The great horned owl. Any idea how it gets its name? Well, I mean, it would be those, what we now know are tufts. That's right. right. Okay. Right. So right. those tufts, they, again, they think they use those to sleep at night. Um, striped chest. Okay. Okay. So it has the stripes instead of the bars. bars. So this Remember is very different from the barred owl then. Yeah. So let's, let's click back to him just to kind let's of see. So here's the, here's the barred owl. Yep. So these stripes go up and down. Those bars go up and down. Bars go up and down. Uh huh. And he does not have ear tufts. That's right. Okay. Monkey face. And the horned owl, though, mm -hmm. has ear tufts. Ear the tufts. horns. That's very right. Name. And he has stripes. That's right. Okay. That's right. One of the other characteristics that I like to point out is that the great horned owl has a white uh, ring around its eye. Oh, okay. Kind of an outline yeah. there. Like, yeah. Okay. And it's a large owl, you can see uh, in our silhouette. Okay. Look at their hairy toes. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's kind of weird. I mean, we, we had a bird, the, the vultures, that had a bald head. Mm -hmm. Well, why would an owl have hairy toes? Well, what they think is, is that these feathers, they're actually, it's actually not hair. I use the word oh, hair, the feathers, but they're not. The bird. The, yeah. The feathers go all the way down to their talons. Because when they grab their prey, mm -hmm. sometimes those prey items will turn and bite or whatever okay. grab them, and they grab a Ooh. mouth full of feathers oh. instead of injuring the oh, protector. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's, cool. it's a protective device. Yeah. All right, let's look at our last owl here. Yeah. This is the barn owl. This is the Harry Potter owl. This is the Harry Potter. Yeah, I mean that's a uh, uh, head uh, or whatever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the Harry Potter owl. Yeah. Uh, it's got the got that nice white face mm -hmm. and white chest, mm -hmm. and no ear tufts. No ear tufts. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kind of kind of a almost almost heart shape. I yep. mean, you, we've got moon here, but I also think maybe a little bit of heart. Yeah. With a little little yeah. indention there at the top. Yeah. There. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, he has those hairy toes. Also those hairy toes. Most owls do. Right. Yeah. Lives in barns back in the medieval days. So that, that's you know, right. and you when you when you think of Halloween, this is kind of the ones that you see because they lived in barns. People would go in. You had this white thing flying at them, so they were a lot of times mistaken for ghosts. Okay, yeah, I'd be I'd be scared walking into yeah. a barn. You know, when owls fly, they don't make sound. Okay, the ends of their feathers are frayed, ah. and so when it cuts through the air, it's it's pillowy. Okay, so there's no sound. They're silent hunters. So they don't like flap. Right. Sort of, yeah. Cool. Wait. So I'll do a, a hawk. Okay. Sound when it flies, and you do an owl sound when it flies. All right. Ready? Do the hawk. So when a hawk flies, it goes. <laughs> okay. And when an owl flies, that's right. I like that. All right. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. You got that. I'm not gonna touch it. Totally, this is not an owl. Not an owl. Okay, okay, so what do we have here? We have the monk parakeet. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a pet parakeet once. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Not like this. No, nope. but I did have a pet parakeet yep. once. Now these, these are bigger than the parakeets that you buy in uh, yeah, the pet the stores. Pet like store. that. These, these are pet. small. Okay. These are larger. I would have called them a parrot. Okay. But since I know my birds, I know that this is called the parakeet. Okay. Green body with blue hues on their wings. That's, That's the blue right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They, they uh, back in the 50s, somebody in Dallas around White Rock Lake 
released some of these guys, okay. probably got out of the house, and they are doing quite well. They have a nice colony on White Rock Lake, and uh, hopefully we'll get to see them. It should be fun to see. Do yeah. yeah. you know why they call them monks? No. I, I think they have a vow of silence. Oh, no, they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. They're very squawky and loud bird. Okay, so it's not that. Yeah, it must not, be something no, else. Yeah, it's got to be something else. else. Yeah. All right. This is a belted kingfisher. This is actually one of my favorite birds okay. to try to find. I, I mean, if, if, if you ever find it, mm -hmm. I just think they look really cool, yeah. of, all, of all the different birds. Well, tell so, me about it. So this is this is a belted kingfisher. Uh, what, 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 he, what they will do, they live along the shorelines of a river or, or a mm -hmm. stream or something like that. And they actually build nests not out of twigs like we think of with birds. They will actually burrow nests back into the side of, of the banks of the stream oh cool yeah so they they will they actually do uh, they do fish that, that is what uh -huh. they do they will uh, either perch like you see the one right here or sometimes they'll even hover kind of like this oh, one over here oh cool and when they're ready they'll dive into the water get their fish and they'll take it back to their nests that are actually dug into the sides of the, of the bank so because they're fish catchers mm -hmm. I bet that's why they have that real short spout yes beak yes that, that is there to that. Either either grab the fish whole or to, yep. or, to, or to stab it and bring it back to when they can eat it. And you know what they'll do is they'll catch a fish, go up to a limb of a tree. Mm -hmm. And you know they don't have arms. No, they have wings, but yep. no arms. So. And the head of the fish has to go in first. Okay. Because of the way the fins are designed. Yeah, scales. Yeah. So with their beak, they'll flip that fish. Okay. Flip it, flip it, flip it until they got it ready. Uh -huh. And they'll flip it up in the air and catch it head first. Nice. And swallow it. It's kind of like during the snack and announcement time when we take the popcorn and throw it up in the air. It's kind of like that, right? Yeah. Except you got you don't have to catch it head first. So. Right. I've seen seventh graders woof down yeah. like yeah. a belted kingfisher. There you go. Okay, so the blue body yep. has that blue body with a red chest and it has that white stripe. Sometimes we call that white stripe a white collar. Okay, but that's the belt, right? That's where it gets the belted from. Right. Is, 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 right. That, is that stripe. Yeah. Um, now this actually this is the one that I mentioned in that other video. This oh, is actually the female. Okay. So the male actually is lacking the the red coloration. So it's just all white. It's just all white. Wow. So the female has the brown belt, and that and so this is one of the ones that we'll show you the female, just huh. because it has the distinctive belt in the name nice. of the belt of kingfisher. Uh, the back has a few little white dots or stars. Uh huh. So in case you have a picture on a quiz that only shows the back of the belt of kingfisher. That's still pretty distinctive. It's a nice, yeah. nice blue color with those little white spots. Nice. Belted kingfisher. How many more? Uh, I think one three. One I think we three got more. A, a three one. more in this set. Okay. Well, I'm going to say All right. This is one of my favorite birds. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. The cuckoo. Yeah. That kind of figures. <laughs> this is the yellow-billed cuckoo. It looks a lot like a mockingbird, but there's some very distinctive characteristics that make it not one. If you find one of these, you need to record this in your book. Okay. Because this is a hard bird to find. I think I, mean, I think the times we've been, I've only almost seen it once. Only almost. Only almost seen it. <laughs> so you haven't seen one yet. I have not technically seen it. it they're, okay. They are very hard to find. They are hard to find. Yellow-billed cuckoo has the black and the white spots on the tail. Look, did you see those? So there's a black spot, white spot, black spot, white spot. See this one? There you go. Yeah. And then they have a very distinctive yellow bill with the brown back and the white body. Um, hard one to identify on the quiz. So this okay. is the one you want to spend the most time trying to identify. All the others are easy. Make sure you know the yellow bill cuckoo. Yeah. So it looks almost like a banana on the bill. Yeah. Like yeah. maybe shrunk down. Yeah. Imagine a bird with a banana bill. Okay. That looks kind of cuckoo. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Then maybe that'll help. Yeah. All right. Last two are woodpeckers. Mm -hmm. uh, the, these, maybe you have these at home, maybe not. Yeah. Uh, you, you'll know you have them because you have little tiny holes in your trees or in your fence posts. Right. 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 So this guy, the red-bellied woodpecker, mm -hmm. his belly looks white. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it? yeah. So And you see red on the head. Yeah. So why isn't he a red-headed woodpecker? Because we already have a red-headed woodpecker. Gotcha. He got yeah. discovered first. That's right. And it has a solid red head. Okay. This dude doesn't. Okay. This is so we went to the belly. Okay. And you hardly ever get to see the belly because they're all up, they're always on the tree, always against the tree. Okay. But you'll see that it's kind of pinkish or red okay. on the belly, especially on the males. Okay, and they do have the red 
flaming hair. You know, back in the 70s, I had a mullet that looked a lot like that. Nice. Was yeah. it red? Okay. It wasn't red. Okay. Well, it wasn't red, but it was shaped in that same shape like a mullet. We'll have to find that picture. Some people would call this a ladder back okay. woodpecker because it has these black and white bars. 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 bars like that now. has weight on that that go across. So this one is a fairly large woodpecker. I'm going to say... Can you tell how big that is? Big as your head? <laughs> not quite as big as my okay, head. Okay, not quite as big. Okay, and I'm telling you that because the next woodpecker is really small, okay. like the size of a sparrow. Okay, the red-bellied woodpecker. This is the last downy woodpecker. Yeah, the downy woodpecker. He looks. He kind of looks smaller. I know it's hard yeah. to tell in the pictures. Yeah, but he looks like he'd be smaller. And doesn't doesn't his feathers look kind of fluffy? Yeah, and downy. downy. Oh, okay, okay, so. Like the like the like the teddy bear. Yeah. In yeah. Commercial. Yeah. Yeah. So a tiny little woodpecker. Uh, I think this is the male because it has the red, and uh, most of the time the females don't have that red. It's just black and white. Okay. Uh, has a gray gray little spot on the back, but these are much smaller right. than its cousin. And it's not so it's not the latter. No, there's not those stripes. Not it's just the stripes. Maybe a solid white stripe. Right. So yeah, go back and look at the difference between the two, and. Uh, learn them so you can tell them because in pictures it's hard to tell size. Right. That's right. why we tried to give you the silhouette. But if you look at the characteristics, I think you'll figure it out. So this quiz is going to have all four owls. So you, yep. yeah, that's going to be a little bit uh, tricky maybe to get those differences. Mm -hmm. You're looking for ear tufts, mm -hmm. uh, size, uh, relative sizes, mm -hmm. and the two different wood feathers. Yep. Other than that, guys, the rest of these um, all, all pretty distinctive, pretty cool uh, birds. Yeah, and the study the yellow-billed cuckoo. That's or, the, the or the belted kingfisher. Yeah, those are the ones that are, that are going to get you tripped up. 